My name is Andrew Joseph Tachokusuma and I'm running for President of Indonesia. I'm here today to talk about the issue of education. Indonesia needs an excellent education establishment to enable it to engender young people's expertise. This is important because young people will be our future, young people will be our leaders, young people will be our hopes. Students must have knowledge, employees must have skills, and leaders must have creativities. Another issue facing Indonesia is technology. The need of technology is inevitable. The need of technology is unavoidable. The need of technology is undeniable. The technology in Indonesia is not advanced. The country is not well equipped and the people are not well trained. So therefore, Indonesia needs a tremendous technology transformation. The last issue I would like to discuss is family. Fantastic families form faithful, fearless individuals to face the threatening world. Behind every great man is a great woman. Behind every child is his or her parents. Behind every successful leader is his or her family. Families are strength. Families are support. Families are life. Family is where it should begin. Thank you for your support. Let us make incredible idealistic Indonesia. Please vote for me, Andrew Joseph Tejikusumo. Hello, my fellow Indonesians. My name is Brayden and I am running for President of Indonesia. Today, I am going to talk about the issue of sports. This is important because there are a lot of people cheating in sports. Sports do not allow cheating, therefore we need to learn more sports. But because there are not enough good sports facilities, as a president, I will improve the condition. The second issue Indonesia is facing is religion. This is important because there are a lot of intolerant people. As a president, I would put these people in jail for life. The third issue Indonesia is facing is health. This is important because there is a new COVID-19 virus. COVID-19 is dangerous. COVID-19 kills people and COVID-19 hurts families. As a president, I would lock up people who go out of their house without a mask. But if you choose me as a president, I will reduce the number of patients in this country. Thank you audience. Always remember, be better with freedom. Good morning, Indonesian citizens. My name is Kenneth Hindrikado Jasin, and I'm running for president of Indonesia. I am here today to talk about the issue of health. The reason why it is important is because of the coronavirus. It's important to take care of each other, to wash our hands often, to wear masks at public, and have social distancing. To solve this problem, I plan to have more hospital built special for coronavirus victims. Second, I will ask the factories to produce millions of masks and hand sanitizers then share them free to people who need them most. I will also share a great number of banners to warn and educate us more, so we don't underestimate about it, and always remember to wash our hands with soap, wear masks wherever we go, and have social distancing. Another issue facing Indonesia is about education. The reason why it is important is because Indonesia needs a higher quality of education. Indonesia's quality of education needs to be improved, needs a higher quality of education, and a better knowledge of learning. To solve this problem, I will provide more facilities for students and with trained teachers. I will also release better educational books. Thank you audience for listening to my speech. I appreciate for your attention and attendance. Let's hand in hand to fight the COVID and make our education better. Please don't forget to vote me to be the next president. Thank you and God bless you. Good morning, Indonesia. My 
name is Patrice Emmanuel Hendra and I am running for President of Indonesia. I am here today to share some issues for the glory of Indonesia. First, I like to talk about environment. This is important as human activities are getting worrying. Nowadays, human activities causes forest degradation. The forests are no longer produce the ecosystem services. Health declines, people suffer, want of times, and climate changes. To solve this problem, to save us all, to stop this, I will stop the unsustainable and illegal logging. I will strengthen and enforce the law. Another issue facing Indonesia is air pollution, which causes damage to the crops, animals, bodies of water, and of course, people. Imagine people get diseases like heart diseases, bronchitis, asthma, respiratory disorder, and many other more. Imagine the temperature is rising. Imagine the global warming is worse. To solve this problem, I will stop the deforestation. I will stop the burning fossil fuel. I will monitor and make strict laws to maintain the clean air standard. The last part of this is nationalism. We are now facing the crisis of nationalism. The globalization has changed our point of view, lifestyle, behavior, attitude towards our beloved country, Indonesia. Moral degradation is everywhere. We love imported products. We live in consumerism. We love other country culture, their, our own culture. The future it depends on us. If our nationalism is facing away, it will be easy that another country will colorize us through mental and ideology. To strengthen our nationalism, we start from ourselves, from the family and from the school. We should appreciate, respect, realize our rights and obligation in the life of the nation and states. We perpetuate the integrity of our country. It's for the sake of the glory of Indonesia. Thank you, Indonesia, for hearing my speech. Choose Patris as a better leader for a better country, and you will have no regrets. cost, poverty, and safety. First, I'll tell you about high education cost. Education is a key to our future. Education is a powerful weapon to change the world. Education is what everybody needs. In fact, high education costs will welcome a big obstacle for every parent, especially when the economic crisis comes. To solve this problem, I should issue some government regulation to lower education costs, and to facilitate more scholarship funds to rightful students. Secondly, another issue I would like to discuss is about poverty. This is a very sensitive issue because the more poverty will be the more starving and will be the more violent crime. Moreover, this failure feature fell our economy into free fall. Strong country needs strong family. Strong family means strong financial, and strong financial means strong good occupation. That is why by providing more good opportunity job will be my top priority. Finally, my last discussion for today is about safety. According to Crime Index 2020, out of 133 countries, Indonesia is in the 76th place. Qatar is the best safety country, but Venezuela is the worst. I believe the more safety our nation is, the more the more investor will come, will be the more good job will available. So strengthening our law enforcement is my promise as the next Indonesia's president. Cause safety is not only expensive, but priceless. That is all I want as the next Indonesia's president. Thank you for your time and your attention. So food me for sure. Together we'll work for better Indonesia's future.